hi guys welcome to my channel my name is promoted sandra if this is the first time you are coming across this channel thank you very much for stopping by if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back so here on my channel i do everything related to fashion beauty lifestyle and skincare so if you're interested in any of these categories you want to join the family by clicking the subscribe button and if you end up enjoying this video don't forget to smash the like button and also turn on post notifications to get notified whenever i upload a new video so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the easiest step-by-step -step guide on how to cut a breast tube okay so that is basically what we are going to be doing into this video what you are going to be needed to drop this is your tape your marker your scissors and also your french curve which is also known as your ruler without further ado let us dive into this video <laughs> So the first thing i'm going to go ahead to do is to mark out a straight line at the upper part which is going to be serving as our chest guide okay so once i was done doing that the next thing i'm going to be doing is for this breast tube i'm going to be going down by five inch that because i don't want my cleavage to be too exposed but if you want yours to be really deep you can go ahead to minus um six seven or eight i'm just going to go ahead to go up by five so this is where i want my to start from so i'm going to be imputing my bust point measurement which is nine i will go i will go down to impute my under bust measurement which is 12 and a half then i will go down um and impute my half length measurement which is 15 but because i'm going to be wearing this this like a top i don't want it to be like a crop top because i'm going to be wearing it either with jean or with it could be skirt and all that so i'm just going to um make use of 70 inches 60 inches is going to be for the length while the one inch is going to be for my sewing allowance so i'm just going to go ahead to mark out a straight line across just like this so i'll just go ahead to lay bed there this is going to be serving as my chest point which is my chest line my bust point my under bust top length so this is it okay so once i was done doing that the next thing we are going to be doing is to impute our nipple to nipple measurement if you don't know how to take your nipple to nipple measurement it's very easy all you just need to do is to place your tape on your nipple and take it to the other nipple okay so whatever you have there that is going to be serving as a nipple to nipple measurement for me mine is eight okay so eight divided by two is going to give me four i will go ahead to mark at four like this Then I'll go ahead to draw a straight line across, just like this. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to come down by one inch from my bust point. So this is my bust point. I'll come down by one inch. But then you come down to your under bust. Please pay attention to what I'm about to explain in this part. And so what I'm going to be doing, I'm just going to come to this front here and minus one inch okay then i will go to the side front by one and a half inch okay. so if the bust you are working with is big you can go in by one and a half inch if the bust you are working with is small then you can go in by one inch and go out by one inch so what i'm going to be doing is to also come down to this downside i come in by one inch come out by one inch okay so what i'm going to be doing is to connect this point together like this this is how it's going to look like what you're going to be doing is use your hand to give it a like remove the sharp edge and give it a nice curve so like this so what you're going to be doing now now that you are done with it now we are just going to move straight to the upper part which is the chest line so what you are going to be doing at the chest line you will come you come out by 0 0.8 inch it's not going to be up to one inch 0 0.8 okay then at your side like this we marked in one and a half inch so that is it so from this chest line we are going to be going up by half inch half inch and mark it like this so from that half inch we're just going to connect the points together just like as you can see me doing So this is how it's going to look like so this is what we have so the next thing we are going to be doing is to so i'm going to come to this center front and come down by 
half an inch you can also decide to comb that by one inch it depends on how much cleavage you are willing to expose so i'm just going to comb that by um 0 0.6 inch and connect it just like this you can decide to make it v and decide to make it you know just any shape of your choice so the next thing we are going to be doing is to impute our, our body measurement which is what we are about to do right away so my our bust is 36 36 divided by 2 is going to give me 9 so i'll go ahead to measure 9 just like this i'll measure 9 so i'm going to be replacing the dots that i removed from the top so what i have here is two inch i'm going to be replacing that two inch back like this and add one inch sewing allowance just like this as you can see me hope you guys can see me then i will come to the under bust and impute my under bust measurement my under bust is 32 32 divided by 4 is going to give me 8 then my waist is 32 as well 32 divided by 4 is also going to give me 8 i'll, I'll go ahead to replace my dart so i'll measure it my dart here is 2 and 2 inch so I impute the two inch. Then my dart here is two and a half inch. I'll replace the two and a half. Then I will add one inch sewing allowance. For the down, we'll add one and a half inch sewing allowance. The up part, I will add one inch sewing allowance. Then I will draw the points together. So once I was done, I'll go ahead to cut it out. So just watch out what I'm doing. So the next thing we are going to be drafting is the back side so what we are going to be doing i'm just going to rule out a straight line which is going to be my zipper allowance so this is going to be serving as a zipper allowance and i'm just going to be marking out guide at the upper part so this is going to be serving as my guide at the upper part so what i'm going to be doing is so mind you i've not cut out the armhole so i'm going to be cutting out the armhole but before then i'm just going to mark the length of this Hope you guys can see me i'll just mark it like this this is the length of the so i'll go ahead to mark out a straight line like this so once i was done doing that i'll go ahead to mark out my other bust point which is very very important okay so i'll take a, my roller and draw out a straight line so the next thing i'm going to be doing is to divide my nipple to nipple measurement by two my nipple to nipple measurement is eight as i earlier said divided by two is going to give me four so i'm going to impute four i'll join the points together just like this as you can see me doing i will go in by half an inch so to my side back i'll go in by half an inch then my side front i'll come out by half an inch then i will draw a straight line to meet from my chest line to this half an inch okay just like this so as i was done doing that the next thing i'm going to be doing is to impute my body measurement so my bust measurement is 36 36 divided by 4 is going to give me 9 as earlier said so i'll impute that 9 i will add 1 inch sewing allowance then i'll come to my under bust my under bust is 30 2 32 divided by 4 is going to give me 8 so i'm going to mark whatever i have here and replace it i have 0 0.9 inch here so i'm going to replace that 0 0.9 inch here then i will add one inch sewing allowance i will come to my waistline i'll mark in my waist measurement have and then replace the dots that i have here which is one inch replace the one inch back and add one inch in our one so once i was done i'll go ahead to join the points together so what you are going to be doing now is to replace my front measurements like this then cut out the armhole for the both the front and the back but what i'm just going to do is to slant so i'll go out to slant like this 
Before I cut it out, this is what we are going to be doing. We are going to come to your under bust here. I'm just going to draw out a straight line just like this to reach the end. Then I will go in by half inch. This is to remove pocking from our zip. If you'll be following me up with my string, you're going to know that I love doing that. Then you take your ruler and draw a slant line from your chest line like this and come down. Then like this. So when we are done sewing our zip, it will not pock out to just be firm. It will relax on our back. For this back side, I don't want it to be just straight. I just want to remove like 0.2 inch. I want to be slant, like it should be slant just like this. You can decide to leave it straight, but for me, I just want it to be a little bit slant. I'm going to be cutting out this armhole area first. Just watch out what I'm doing. You can decide to remove it and just notch it and just do the way you want to do it. But for me, I just want to do it like this. Because I want the back armhole and front armhole to be equal. Okay. So now that I'm done cutting the boats together, I'll just remove it and cut out every other piece. Just like this. So this is what we have. We have the front. I also have the back here. So we're just going to go ahead to cut this out on our fabric. We come to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. And please stay tuned for the sewing tutorial. So I'm just going to be making a separate video on the sewing tutorial. So just watch out. Once I'm done uploading this video, the next video I'm going to be uploading is the sewing tutorial. So watch out for that. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to be uploading sewing tutorials on my Facebook page. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. See you on my next video.